And just here this morning, we've seen counterterrorism officers moving inside this vast police cordon that's still sort of ringing the center of Manchester around the Manchester arena. Manchester police say the focus of their priority right now is determining whether this 22-year-old bomber, Salman Abedi, acted on his own. Because they can't rule out that there were other people involved, that is why the threat level has been raised. Speaking last night at number 10 Downing Street, Prime Minister Theresa May explained what that increased threat level really means. Let's take a listen. It has now concluded, on the basis of today's investigations, that the threat level should be increased for the time being from severe to critical. This means that their assessment is not only that an attack remains highly likely, but that a further attack may be imminent. Now, we're getting a bit more detail about Salman Abedi, the bomber, from the British Home Secretary, Amber Rudd. She said that he likely travelled back from Libya in recent weeks. We've also heard from the French Interior Minister, Gérard Colomb, speaking to French TV today. He said that according to French and British intelligence agencies, that this man, Salman Abedi, had also travelled to Syria, very likely, and did have some kind of relationship with Islamic State, of course, the group claiming responsibility for the attack yesterday. There's going to be a huge police presence in major cities like Manchester for some time now. It looks like there'll be a lot more armed police officers coming up here. And the military will also be guarding some of the major installations around the UK, including Downing Street and Buckingham Palace. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.